So Anne, uh, you're just holding the book for the first time. Exactly. But you've been hearing about what Sarah had to say to you. Is there a little something in there that you recognize? Can you share with us? Well, um, I understand she calls me the town crank. Uh, but I'll read this section in which she calls me the town critic. I, that's Sarah speaking, I hadn't been mayor long when a certain Wasilla resident established herself as the town critic. She showed up for nearly every council meeting on Mondays and a lot of planning commission meetings on Tuesdays. A Birkenstock and Granola Berkeley grad who wore her long hair and flowing hair long and flowing and with a flower behind one ear, she always had something to say, usually about her clogged culvert. She demanded to come to certain cabinet meetings to make sure that my door was literally open, to which the cabinet answered in unison with me, not just no, but hell no. The town crier would later become an expert on all things Palin when I ran for vice president. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so that would be you, Ann Kilkenny. Isn't that amazing? I mean, here you are showing up at your town meetings, being involved in your local politics. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you say. know, and, and when, I mean, you're, when you're writing a chapter of city law, what a ridiculous thing to ask to meet with the department heads that would be impacted by the law that you're writing. I mean, you how outrageous. You're so yes. maverick -y. exactly. Yes. <laughs> I mean, maybe the real world. It's the granola, you know. <laughs> are you a, do you smoke? I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of people that are <laughs> eating granola. I wish that were what it would take to get people to show up for their communities. I mean, here you, and, and you know, every small town in Alaska has these you know,